Hi, welcome again to Hope Dealing. And we're in Psalm 42. We're calling this a hopeful song. And we're seeing how to go from a, a moment of despair, a moment of depression, uh, and to find your way back to praising God and hoping in God. And the writer uh, has left us, or rather we left the writer at a place where prayer comes into play. But then in that prayer, it looks like he goes back to a depressive state, but I believe that this is part of the writing. He is making a refrain so he could get you back to the chorus of trusting God. And he says, verse nine, I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? As with the breaking of my bones, my enemies reproach me while they say to me all day long, where is your God? And then the, uh, the chorus, why are you cast down on my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God. So, so verse nine and 10, it seems negative. I, I think it's important for us to know from a biblical example that prayer is not just a place where you talk about the goodness of God, where you talk about or vow to be committed, but prayer is a place where you could bring that negativity out, where you could talk to the Lord about brokenheartedness, sometimes even to talk to the Lord about how you think he's disappointed you. That's what this writer does. I don't think it's true. I think it's true that he said it, but I don't think God has forsaken him or forgotten him. Matter of fact, I know God has not forgotten him. But nonetheless, he is still allowed a place in prayer to just get this stuff out of him so that God can put something in him. I was raised and most of us was raised with the idea, don't question God, but be careful. That's because we often thought that God was like a man. God is not a man. He doesn't have a, he doesn't get upset. His honor is not taken away when his people question. And that helps you to understand Jeremiah, helps you to understand David, uh, helps you to understand Job, how they were able to come before God with their complaints, with their sorrow. Even if it was not true, God still allowed it. And God blessed them to come out of it. Uh, and that says to me that prayer ought to be a place where we not only remember God, not only grow in commitment, but that we could get, you know what, if I could get rid of this negativity in prayer, then I don't have to bring it to my wife. I don't have to bring it to my children. I don't have to bring it to my workplace. If I can deal with the hard stuff in prayer, I know God is not going to tell my secrets and God's not going to uh, blab out how much I've failed. But certainly it's not all there is to prayer. It still is a time to remember who God is above your complaints and above uh, your moanings and accusations. Uh, so we'll get to the last verse next time on Hope Dealing. We'll see you then. God bless.